Good morning everyone and welcome to Cooking with Autumn. Today I'm going to show you how to make these garlic ranch parmesan wings. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and separate the drum from the flat of the chicken. And the easiest way to do that is just to take a pair of kitchen scissors and cut right by that joint. It's only gristle there so it's really easy to cut through and we like to leave the wing tips on the flat parts in our house. We actually eat those. So the next thing I'm going to do is clean the chicken. I'm putting in some warm water with a little bit of salt and I'm going to put the juice of one lime. To get more juice out of the lime you can heat it up in the microwave for about 10 seconds and that will give you a little more juice out of your lime. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix it up and let this sit for about 20 minutes. Okay, so while this is also sitting, I'm gonna go ahead and take a knife and cut some slits into the chicken. Uh, this will help when I season it, get more seasoning inside of the chicken um, since I didn't let these marinate overnight or for a longer period of time, it'll get a little more flavor inside of the meat of the chicken. Okay, so now I'm gonna season the chicken. I've poured off the water. I don't rinse it, just pour off the water. I'm gonna go ahead and add some complete seasoning, some garlic powder, some black pepper, some smoked paprika. And guys, we don't measure in our house. We just kinda of pour as we see fit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a whole package of that dry ranch powder. Okay, now you're gonna to wanna to mix it all up together and make sure all the chicken is evenly coated with the seasoning. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add some mixed garlic. And we buy this big jar, we go through it very quickly in my house. And I'm just gonna add a couple of forkfuls, four forkfuls of garlic, and mix that in as well. And I'm gonna line up baking sheet with parchment paper. Um, now I also showed you, I added a little bit of brown in. This is optional. I just don't like for my chicken to be really white or light. I like to have really dark chicken. So I'm adding some browning on there as well. And that'll make it look like it's grilled um, more so than oven baked. And I'm gonna go ahead and place all the pieces of chicken, lay them out on the baking sheet. Now what you want to do is to space out the chicken. This is going to ensure that there is enough room around each piece of chicken for the air to circulate and this will give you a nice crisp bake on the chicken where it really looks and tastes as if it was grilled and not more so baked. It doesn't have like a lot of the juice and the, um, the skin. So the other thing that I've already done is preheated the oven to 400 degrees. And my suggestion with parchment paper, you have to be very careful, is to cut it to fit the actual tray so that there's no extra parchment paper hanging over because it will start to burn or crisp in the oven. And you'll see later that I actually tear off the pieces that burn, but sometimes you don't catch it and it will start a little singeing or a little fire in the oven. We don't want that. Okay, so now I'm just taking the extra seasoning that's in the pot and spreading it over the chicken that's on the parchment paper. Just making sure I have about an even amount on each tray. And into the oven we go. So again, we're on 400 degrees preheated and we're gonna set the timer for 20 minutes. 
I'm sorry, 40 minutes. <laughs> so this is about 20 minutes later, halfway through the process, and I'm just going to pull the chicken out and I'm gonna flip them over to the other side to give the other side some time to crisp as well. The good thing about the parchment paper is that it does not stick. The food doesn't stick to the parchment paper. Um, whereas if you use like aluminum foil, you have to spray it with oil or a cooking spray first um, to make sure that the food doesn't stick. With parchment paper, it automatically doesn't stick. But as you guys see, the sides of the parchment paper have started to burn and that could be a fire hazard. So I'm just gonna tear those pieces off any pieces that have started to burn. Okay, so that tray goes back in and then I'm just gonna do the same exact thing on the other tray. Flip each piece over onto the opposite side to give the other side of the chicken some time to crisp up. And as you can also see, because we put room, there's not a lot of uh, grease or juice. It's the chicken is crisping itself. Okay, so 20 more minutes. And this is what it pretty much looks like out of the oven. So after I've let the chicken rest a little bit to retain some of the juices so it doesn't dry out, I'm going to go ahead and put them all into a bowl. What you see me doing is kind of tapping off the crispy pieces of the chicken. That's kind of the browning and the garlic and stuff. That's my mom still in a piece. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add about half of the bag of Parmesan. Now because the chicken is still warm, some of it will melt, but most of it will keep the shape, which is good. You want people to see the, the nice Parmesan on there. And there you have it. We have some garlic ranch Parmesan chicken wings with some steak fries and I made a little sauce to go on the side with some honey and hot sauce. Thank you for joining me today, guys, and have a great day. Thank you for watching today. Don't forget to click to the left to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and click to the right to view some of my other videos I think you'll like. Always remember that everything is perfect and nothing is permanent. So be awesome, be happy, and be blessed.